Good morning. Today is Daf Lamates. So we got to the mission on the top. Uh, so we're going to try and get to the top. There's the two dots uh, a little bit down on Mem Ahmed Aleph. Um, so it's a good thing that the uh, Shkech to our Baal Tefillah today, Baal Kairi, now you got us through. So Mishnah, uh, starting for the Mishnah, third line in time. Shor shel pikeach shenagach shor shel chere shayi tevikad. You have a shor of a regular person, a pikeach, a person who has his faculties, a okay. person who, if it gores an, an ox that's owned by either a deaf mute, person who, uh, shayta, a person who does not have uh, full mental capacity, or a minor, chai, he is chai pay. We'll soon explain these cases. Why that is? V'shel chera shaita v'katan shenagach shorsha v'keach. And if the ox belong to the deaf mute or the minor or the person who does not have full capacity, then he is pater. Then he is pater from pay. Now, shor shel chera shaita v'katan shenagach shenagach. So if you in the scenario where they have the ox of the person, say the, de- the deaf mute, I'm just using it as an example. Right, and so based in Mamidin Lahenapitropis, so based in appoints a, a watchman, mm-hmm. right, a, an administrator to look over this animal, Umeidin Lahen Bifne Apitropis, and then they they use this person to go ahead and says, Hey, you're now sort of uh, you know in charge of the animal, and therefore they can mm-hmm. warn him in front in order, we'll soon see, in order to make this animal go from a tom to a mua. In other words, you can't. You have to be able to 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 warn the owners, right? You warn a shota, it, it has no halachic significance. So therefore, they appoint an administrator, and now the administrator, hey, you're in charge of Zan. Well, the gores, they warn him in front of based him. Right. So the the, the first part of lechayra doesn't right. So we we have to understand. The gemara is going to start pointing out uh, a few contradictions uh, in our mishnah. No, so because the apitropuses. Yeah. Um, Responsibility. That's gonna be another question. All right, we'll see in the Gemara. Very good. Now, mm-hmm. now let's say the deaf mute is able to go ahead and in the in here and speak again, or the person who lost his faculties, right? He became normal again, or the the the, the cotton grew up. Mm-hmm. He goes back to his town. In other words, it was a town under the mute, the deaf mute. <clears throat> Now it started goring. They say, no, Apitropus, you watch it. Then it gore three times, and all of a sudden it came a muat under the Apitropus. Then, all of a sudden, that view gets better. Okay, I'm ready to take my animal back. So it's Chazat Tamusa, Mayor. It's okay, it's a time. In other words, he's a different owner, a different watchman. He can watch it differently. So therefore, maybe he can calm his animal, and therefore it doesn't have the nature of being a goring animal. Abyeisi Amir, Harehu Right, Alan, you probably like that one a little better. Abyeisi says, no. It was a, a goring animal, because I saw Alan made a face before, right? So it goes back to us. He says, no, it goes back to its uh, chazaka. It, you know, it, it, it maintains its chazaka. It's a muah. It's a muah. It's the same Right. So let's say you have an ox of the, uh, mm-hmm. uh, um, the what's it called? The, the Coliseum. Oh. One that was used for goring, Eino Chai of Misa, that is not Chai of Misa, you don't kill a Shinamar Kiyigach, you put the animal when it cha- happens to go ahead and gore below Yishegechu. And not that basically, basically you raised it and taught it to go ahead and become a goring animal. One in the, All right. in the thing, it's always making noise. Right. Whatever it is, yeah. he's the one that is uh, Mua. So, the, so even though yes, even though it's its nature to do it, so therefore it's it's a it's a it's a meal from the pasuk. So look the gemara. So the hog with the kasha understands the contradiction itself. Amar to shor shel chayr shor shor the bekatan shor naga shor shel begeach pater. You say that an animal belonging to let's say a per, a deaf mute. Right, I'm just using that as an example. If it gores a regular person's uh, ox, he is pater. Alma ain't gonna be the time. The gabbos magufam. We don't go ahead and appoint a, an administrator. Okay, you're now, in, you know, okay, their animal gourd, you're in charge. Now, since it's animal gourd, you can oversee us collecting Chati Nezek from this animal. Okay? So we don't say that, right? Because we just say Potter. If you would be Chayib, we'd say, okay, this this this, this, this Shota can't take care of the sale. You, Mr. Apichopas, take care of the sale and make sure 
half the, you know, you pay half the damages from the ammo. But we don't say that. Same as Sefer, then the Sefer says, if an animal gore is that belonging to a deaf mute, then Basin goes ahead and it does appoint an administrator, and we testify in front of the administrator mm-hmm. the Basin that this animal gored in order to, 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 to you know to make it a, a muad to alma, right? Mm-hmm. Or or we make it even a tam in order to go ahead and collect for it. So alma ma'amidin lahab abichovus latam lagavus megufo. We see over here that you do go ahead and appoint an administrator in order to go ahead and collect the payments for katsi nezik from a short tam. So I'm a rabba. So says rabba no hachiktani. Right? And no, we no, what it means is not in order to go ahead, we don't we don't appoint an administrator in order to go ahead and collect Khatsi Nessa. That's not what we do. We appoint an administrator in order if, if it continues to gore to testify in front of this administrator, and therefore we can go ahead and make, cause this animal to become a sure muad. And therefore, when it goes ahead and it continues to gore, then it will pay Nezek Shalem Min Aliyah, out of pocket. So the Gwara says, out of pocket. Wait, who, who does? The Apitropus? Who does? The, who does? Who? Let's see. Malias Matt. Who's out of pocket? So Rabbi Yechran, Rabbi Malias Yisai, Rabbi Yechran says, from the estate of the Yisai, from their money. Rabbi Yechran, Rabbi Yechran, Rabbi Malias Apitropus. He said, no. You pay the apichopis, goes ahead and pays. Ah, you mean my Yechen and Haki? Does Rabbi Yechen say you go ahead and collect from the orphans from the Yisayim? By my Rabbi Yudom, my Rabbi Asi, ain is cocking the nixay Yisayim. Eli can read this. Our chel is bad. We don't go ahead and force the sale right uh, of the chasim of the Yisayim unless there is uh, basically uh, interest that's eating away at their assets. He said, you know, just pay this off in order that you don't go ahead. And uh, have to continue uh, to pay ribbis. Obviously, it was done some, uh, you know, halachic uh, uh, proper way. The Rabbi Yechon and Omar, oh, the star sheyesh ribbis. Whether this dagli has ribbis, oh, the ksubas isha mishum mizayne, or the ksubas isha. As long as you don't give them the 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 the, the ksuba, so the 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 wife continues to eat from the estate. They will eat up the estate. So therefore, we want to go ahead and and pay from the orphan's estate. But we only see, and, and so we only see these cases are when you go ahead and you pay off, right, a debt. But you don't go ahead and pay off a debt if the animal goes ahead and gores. So why would Rabbi Yechonah say we pay from the estate of the Yisayim? So the course is eight books switch around. Rabbi Yechonah, Omar, Melias, Melias, Abbey Chopson. Rabbi Yechonah is the one who says, no, we pay out of pocket from the for the administrators. And Rabbi Yechonah, Omar, Melias, he summoned. Rabbi Yechonah, he's the one who says, you pay from the Yisayim. So I'm a rubber. So Ross says, Rabbi, you switch around. We shouldn't cash it, Rabbi Yechad, Rabbi Yechad, because there's a contradiction, Rabbi Yechad. Mashvisle, Rabbi Yezer, Chanina. You want to go ahead and not put Rabbi Yezer, Chanina, of the opinion that you collect from the orphans? It's a toy, it's a mistake. But Rabbi Yezer, Chanina, Dino, he's a, he's a Dayan, the Nach, he's Luke, the Dino. All right, then he always gets to the bottom of the halakha, and therefore the halakha is usually come out. So we're, 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 it's, uh, we're, it's accurate that we don't go ahead and collect from Yisrael. So how could you go ahead and say that? So, really, don't switch it around. Mazik shani, and then normally over here when we say you don't go ahead and collect from orphans, it's when there's a loan that was done by the father or something like that. We don't go ahead and pay. However, you're talking about damage where their property causes damage. Mazik shani, mazik. Damage, you actually do go ahead and collect from the Yisrael. That's something that you could go ahead and collect. It's not like an outstanding loan from their from their father or from their estate. And Rabbi Yechon, oh, my Elias Yisrael, why? Do you mind this happy Because if you say it comes from the estate of the happy tropes, right? People are going to say, hey, you know what? You know, this is what you get for doing a favor. I'm going to go ahead and do a favor and watch these kids, you know, watch their ox. If it goes ahead and gores, I got to pay out of pocket. You know, I'm doing a chesed for them. I'm not going to do that. So no one's going to want to go ahead and become the administrator. If the ox causes damage, they're going to have to pay out of pocket. What's There's no upside for them doing it, besides doing a nice thing. Otherwise, they'll lose money. They could go ahead and pay out of pocket. Why? Right? And then later on, in other words, when, they, when the when the orphans grow up, when they're when they're older, then you can go ahead and collect from the assignment whatever the administrator had to pay out of his pocket uh for trying to watch the ram. Fine. Three lines from the top on Lama Tesla base. 
I didn't go to orphans in the parish. I'm sorry? How did we end up talking about orphans on this issue? Uh, okay. or... One second. Uh, orphans, uh, because, one second. Uh, yeah, because the assignment are considered to be a and and basically the assignment right would be basically the same category of the other ones, <laughs> right? As the shota, but the shota really doesn't have the same benefit as the assignment, so it's only asking on the cotton side, right? The other side, I don't think anyone would have an issue because the whole thing was I Rabbi you said you collect from the the party who can't be responsible, including the assignment. I we don't go ahead and collect the assignment, so that's it was only a kasha on the uh, on the katan on the katanim side, but it wasn't really a kasha on a you know because we, we don't have these sort of leniencies when it comes to the estate of a deaf mute or a person who's a shota. Fine, good question. Now three lines of talam tesavays umami the lena pechobis la latam the gavos migufo tonight. Now the fact that we go ahead. And designate an administrator. You're now going to be administrator for this estate of this deaf mm -hmm. mute or cut and shite or whatever. Mm -hmm. In order that if it does go ahead and gore, you're responsible to go ahead and see the sale of the animal, right? You know, to oversee, to make sure that there's a chazi nezek paid migufa of the animal. In order to go ahead and collect from the, the, the animal itself, it's actually tonight. It's my colleagues tonight. The Tanya, we're in a brisa. Short shenis harshu balav, the shkatu balav, or shalku balav medina seyak. Right, only mentions three of the cases here, or two of the cases, and one new one. So you have a case of uh, short. The owner was fine, then became a deaf mute, or the uh, or the person became deranged. Or the owner went uh, out of the country. So Yehuda ben Nekusa Omer, Yehuda ben Nekusa says, uh, so, so Yehuda ben Nekusa Omer Simchus, Harehu betamuso ad sheidu bo b'fnei b'habal. It remains a tam until you go ahead and testify in front of the owners. You know, and then you can't go ahead and testify in front of the owners because the owner is deranged or he's out of town, he's out of the country. No, we go ahead and we get administrators now. Okay, the person's out of the country. You're in charge. We testify in front of him in order to do it. Now, would it, would it on face value for the, for the ratio over here? It appears that this is the Machlech. As according to the Tanakhama, we don't go ahead and, and hit, uh, collect... For from the in front of the administrator Migufo, and according to Chama we do. That's why we go ahead and we assign an administrator in order to go ahead and collect Tam Migufo. Now, which is not mentioned in the ratio. I'm just pointing out, but the Gemara doesn't point that out. If now the guy all of a sudden deaf mute is able to go ahead and speak and then talk, or the deranged person now uh, you know the, took, his, took his meds and now he's normal. Or the, the, the minor grew up, or the owners returned from Adina Sayyam. I guess it didn't have the case of the cotton because you can't have a god going from a cotton, right? We were starting off with a person who was good, and then, good then you know, it was no longer good, right? The person was in town, then he went out of town, right? He was fine, and then he became deranged, right? So that's why, he, right? He is, yeah. So, but in the case of where you have now something which is cotton and it became a god, Yehuda ben Nekusa, I'm Yehuda Sumchus, Chazan Tamuso, Ad Sheyidu Bob B'fnei Baal. It returns to its Tam status until you go ahead and you now, you know, testify three times in front of the quote-unquote new owners, right? Why, why, why does it go back to its Tam status? You know, it's even if it was, let's say, the, the, the animal was worn three times, right? In other words, or the owner, the, the watchman was worn three times. So that was, we, we did see that in Machlokas in our Mishnah, whether it's because of the Tamuso, I know Alan did not like that, right? In other words, that uh, because the person will say, okay, it's a different watcher, and therefore now maybe he's better at watching, therefore he'll prevent it from goring or not. Let's see. That, that's only one opinion. Right? No, the animal was goring under the administrator, so therefore it remains a goring animal. So Amru, my Hare Bitamuso. What does it mean, Hareu Bitamuso? What does that mean? 
Uh, if you're coming to tell me that it can't become muad at all, it always remains a tam. But the Seifa says, It returns to its status of tam, meaning that it became a muad. So, Ella, my, right, ready to say, what does it mean? Hareyu b'tamuso, hareyu b'tamuso. In other words, it remains full that we don't go ahead and make a payment. We see over here that you can't go ahead and collect if you do not go ahead and appoint an administrator in order to go ahead and, and collect the fees from Migufo. No, we do go ahead and assign an administrator and we testify in front of the ministry that this animal is goring. Alma, what do you see from here? Ma'amidin apichobas latam legavas megufa. Right? So what do you see from here? That we do indeed go ahead and appoint an administrator in order There's to go ahead and collect the chatzinezek from the animal itself. Right. The safe of my flag. What's, what's my flag is in the safe? Huh? So Rashus, uh, Mishani Kibanai. Right? In other words, whether it goes back to the right reverse. In other words, all of a sudden the new owner or the, the, the owner who was previously unable to watch his animal is now back. And he knows how to watch Bessie, right? In order that Bessie doesn't go. So that's the the what I know. Saba Rashus Mashana. Then now the change of ownership and the change of guard watch, you know, the guardianship, right? Really uh, goes ahead and changes it. Yes, Saba Rashus say the Mashana. No, the new uh, jurisdiction of uh, 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 of the animal does not change its status to go from a mua back to tam. Rather, remains a mua. Fine. Turn around button, smack him over the page. Sure. Now, so another price we have uh, a, a shore that belonged to a deaf mute, a, a deranged person, mm-hmm. or a minor. Shenagach. Mm-hmm. I don't know why the Gemara, the, the Gemara does it. So, so a gourd. So Shenagach. Rabbi Yaakov Mishalim. Katinazek. Rabbi Yaakov pays Katinazek. Gemara says, Rabbi Yaakov. Rabbi Yaakov. Rabbi Yaakov. What did Rabbi Yaakov do? Why is any time? Uh, an ox owned by a miner, Rabbi Yaakov has to pay. Ella Ema, Rabbi Yaakov, Omer, Mishalim Chazinazak, right? So, oh, no, 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 we meant to say not Rabbi Yaakov pays, right? Rabbi Yaakov says that he pays Chazinazak. So, I don't know why. Oftentimes, I don't know why the Gemara does, like, what? You, he, Rabbi Yaakov pays? You know, Abayi pays every time an animal gores? No, Abayi says, right? So, I'm not sure. Sometimes there's 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 limudim to learn out from a Havamina. So, I, I don't know, you know, what there is uh, to, to learn out, or maybe it was just. A cute way of remembering it. I don't know. Hello, I'm Rabbi Yaakov. Oimer, rather, Rabbi Yaakov says, Mashalim Chati Nezek. So Rabbi Yaakov says, You pay Chati Nezek in a case of a Kherish of the Katan, their animal gore. Now, Ibitam, if we're talking about a Tab Shita, it's obvious. The Kuliyama, Nami, Chati Nezek, Kuli Mashalim, an animal which is Tam always pays Chati Nezek, right? Iba Muad, if we're talking about Muad, well, I understand. Eid of the Shmira Klal. Hello, right? If if uh 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 call of uh, uh right now is if he watched the animal and the animal uh uh gored, so he's he's put there. What should he pay? V low, right? V the law the shmir. If he didn't do any sort of shmira, cool and ethic by the shlumic, he has to go out and pay it all. So I understand if he watches animals in complete right. owner, so then he should be put there. And if he didn't watch it, then he should be high of full payments. So what's if, if it was a mua? So what is this chatinezek? Why does it mean he has to be chatinezek? Some rabba the yelam the mua. Really, we're talking about a mua. Ba'achem askinan the avde shmira pechusa, but lo avde le shmira meula. He did a minimal watching, and he did not do a full uh, watching. Rabbi Yaakov said like Rabbi Yehuda, so therefore he holds like Rabbi Yehuda. The Amar Tzad Thomas from Kaima Amedus. That in other words. When you have a, when you're chayiv to pay Nezek Shalim, really what it is is you're chayiv for Chatzin Nezek. And now, because it's a Muad, you're chayiv the second half. But really, it's not like you're chayiv, you know, Nezek Shalim, and then there's a discount, right? Which we actually saw this story yesterday. It's actually the opposite. Any animal that gores, right, is Tommy O Chatzin Nezek. If it's a Muad, then you have to go ahead and pay. So therefore, he did a minimal watching. So the Tom is still in his place. In other words, the Tom is still in his place. Mm-hmm. So Tom has become a menace. But some of the also the Muad Sagi that watching a doing a minimal watching on a Muad 
actually gets you out of full payment, right? So in other words, a minimal watching. In other words, if I, uh, you know, just put up a, 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 a you know, uh, just, uh, you know, I close the fence. I didn't put a lock on it. I closed the fence, right? That's good enough. Normally, animals didn't break out, right? I, it could break out. Or if the animal, was something startles it, it can, you know, because I didn't lock it, it can, you know, bust through it. But normally, it doesn't get out. So there are minimal is sufficient to get me out of my muad payment to get me out of the, the full nazi payment. But some of the karabana dami ma mida but it was like the talent goes to me go for. Is just in general. Is that in general muad's payment or is it about a short? No, in, in general, in general, in general, right, right. So we're here in this case, and therefore we go ahead, and also in this case we assign an administrator to oversee the collection of Chatsi Nazir. So therefore, you have to say all those according to Rabbi Huda. <laughs> Excuse me, according to Rabbi Yaakov. Now, Rabbi Yaakov is like this. The reason why he paid is because you did, and then I'm watching to get out of the Moad payments. Now, he also knows that we do go ahead and assign an administrator in order to go ahead and oversee the Chatsi Nazir payment. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why Rabbi oh. Yaakov says, Mishan Chatsi Nazir. So I'm Rabbi Abaye. <laughs> so says Abaye, I have a low plea. There's no math like this, right? But Tanya, we're learning advice to Shor Shochev Shoy to the Cotton Shenogach. Rabbi Yaakov Mechayev, excuse me, Rabbi Yudah Mechayev, Rabbi Yaakov Amir Chatsi Nezik Udah Misholim. Rabbi Yaakov says, "Excuse me." So you just want to say he holds like Rabbi Yudah, but we see over here that Rabbi Yudah holds Chayev, and Rabbi Yaakov holds Chatsi Nezik Udah Misholim. So I he can't hold like Rabbi Yudah. Some Rabbi Ula, no, no. Ma Shemachayev, Rabbi Yudah, Perish Rabbi Yaakov. No, no, he's agreeing. He's actually just explaining that which Rabbi Yudah says Chayev. Means he's chayiv chatzin nezek, and Rabbi Yaakov just came to go uh, explain. Uli Abai Dara Pligi, and according to Abai Pligi, so my Pligi. So what's my chok? So now it's Abai says, well, "What do you mean, Loi Pligi?" And he brought this brisa. So what is? How does Abai understand this machlok? Yes. So the chok hakolas kinan b'muad v'lo latre kla. We're talking about a case of a muad, and he didn't watch it at all. Rabbi Yaakov said, "Like Rabbi Yehuda bechada uplag lebechada." So Rabbi Yaakov holds in this case. He holds like a muad, and argues with another. The Rabbi Yudah holds that it's that it's um it's Tom is still there. In other words, you're always Chayv Tom. Then if you're Mua, then you're the you're, the you're, the you're, 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 the other half, the additional half. Upali Bechada. The Rabbi Yudah Savar Mami Nelam Rabbi Chovas Latay the Gavos Migufo. That according to Rabbi Yudah, he holds that you go ahead and you assign someone to go ahead and collect the payment. Rabbi Yaakov Savar Ein Mami Din. Right, and therefore he's only chayiv the muad. In other words, like this is very confusing. That we said there's two halves. There's the first the half of the tam, right, and then it's the muad. There's the second half of the muad. But according to this case, Rabbi Yehuda is actually saying the part that's tam you're actually putter for because that's megufo, and then you do not go ahead and collect if it's owned by chayrashet the bekatan from 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 the from the administrator. But what you do have, you didn't watch it all. So therefore, you're chayiv for the second half, which is the muad portion. So therefore, you're chayiv for the muad portion, but you're not chayiv for no, the oh, tam half. portion. Only half. only half, right? But that which you're chayiv for the muad portion is only the, the half muad that was over and above the tam portion. So I'm going to say, Rabbi Yaakov, Rabbi 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 so going by, okay, the argument is good. El Rava Delmar Loi Pligi. So according to Rava, he says in our arguing, the Mukila the Muad. So he's talking about a case of a Muad, and therefore you only the the Chasinets you pay from there. Why did you do such a complicated case? Nuk me betam. Stay the Machloikas in the case of a Tam, right? And either Rabbi Yehuda, and if it's according to Rabbi Yehuda, right? The Avilei Shmir Bechusa, right? The Avilei Shmir Velo Avilei Shmir Muuya. No, according to him, it could be a case of a Tam where you did minimal, right? Minimal according to uh, Rabbi Yehuda. Gets you out of the muad payments, mm -hmm. but you're still chayiv for the time payments, right? And either Rabbi Ezra and Yaakov, Deloy Abed Leishmir Klaus says you don't have to, you don't watch it all, therefore you have to pay the chatzin ezek. The Tanya Rabbi Ezra and Yaakov Oimir, Echatav Yachemosh, Shamna Shmir Pachusa, that as long as you did minimal uh, guarding, then it's Pturin. So the Gemara says, no, how come I should the two dots, right? So it says, the all come out from Rabbi Yaakov, the Amigal, I've chosen the time of Megufo, right? So I so in this case, um, we, so we learn according to Rabbi Yaakov that we do go ahead and uh, uh, assign apotropus, mm -hmm. right? Uh, in this case, in other words, that's the kiddush of, uh, over here that we do assign a ministry in order to go ahead and and collect from the grupo. In other words, 
really it's one halacha, the, the chatzin has it, but there's, there's two things that come out, right? Rashi says there's two things, right? In other words, one is that the, the tzad, uh, uh, that, that, that he gets out of the tzad muad when it comes with, uh, with minimal shmira, right? And the tzad, he mm-hmm. still has to go ahead and pay the, the tam. And also, to learn from here that you go ahead and you assign an apitropus in order to go ahead and collect the chatzin as megufa. So therefore, it would be a, a chiddush in this case that you would collect from the tam from the minimal payment, you still have to pay the time, and you you pay Magufo because you hired an administrator uh, for that. And right, and Ravina Amar Rishus Mashani Ikebanayu. No, no, the difference between the two of them, the Machlekes is whether it reverts back. Ikebanayu. To go into Havi Muad means like yeah, Hacher Mishat Vashayit Or we're talking about the person who was deranged and it became okay. Rabbi Yehuda Saber Harehu Beches Kaso. Rabbi Yehuda is he's a chazaka. The animal is a chazaka to go ahead and damage. So therefore, you would have to go ahead and pay that full amount. And Rabbi Yaakov Saber, no Rishus Mashana. But the fact that he, he goes back, therefore he is no longer a muad. Now he is a, a tam, and therefore he would only chayiv to go ahead and pay the tam payment, and he would not uh, be chayiv to go ahead and pay the full muad payment because, according to Rabbi Yaakov. Uh, by the fact that it changes back to the cotton, it's now like a, a, a new rishus. I will right, we'll stop here at the two dots. These were uh, children, right? Uh, 